has been in, in existence since 1934. The Blackwood Brothers has won nine Grammy Awards for Best Album of the Year, nominated 29 out of 33 years in the top five for a Grammy Award. The Blackwood Brothers has sung in 47 countries, recorded 217 albums. We're going to take you back to 1960 when Cecil Blackwood, James Blackwood, J.D. Sumner, Bill Shaw, and Wally Varner made up the Blackwood Brothers Quartet. Now stay tuned for more information about the Blackwood Brothers and their travels around the world. We're going to take you through the years with the Blackwood Brothers. Starting out in 1934, Roy, Doyle, James, and R.W. Blackwood, three brothers and one son. Roy, Doyle, James, and R.W. Blackwood. That's the year Cecil Blackwood was born, and that's me. Here we are now in 1993, and you see the Blackwood Brothers tour bus here. This is the bus that takes the Blackwood Brothers to 329 concerts a year all over the United States of America. You can obtain around 100 film from the Blackwood Brothers, videotapes, singing, the history, live concerts, television shows. Here we are today in Arizona, over a mile high. Tonight we're singing in Camp Verde, over a mile high in Arizona. You're going to be seeing the Blackwood Brothers in 1960 with J.D. Sumner on the bass, Bill Shaw on the tenor, Cecil Blackwood, James Blackwood singing the middle parts. Now let me tell you something, this was a quartet that traveled all across the United States and got gospel music started as it, as it is today. If you'd like to have more tapes, just a moment, I'll tell you how you can receive more tapes from the Blackwood Brothers. Today is April the 3rd, 1993. At this recording, you're hearing uh, my voice, Cecil Blackwood, on top of a mountain in Arizona. And now I'm going to tell you how you can get more tapes from the Blackwood Brothers Quartet. We want you to write to us. I can get tapes for you starting out in 1951 through, the, through today. Let me win. Okay. All right, I'm Cecil Blackwood, speaking for all the Blackwood Brothers. Well, I started in the Blackwood Brothers when I was 19 years old, following our airplane crash in Clanton, Alabama. My brother was killed in a tragic airplane wreck, June 30th, 1954, when I was 19 years old. Well, here we are, 39 years later. I'm 58 years old at this recording, and I'm still singing every night for the glory of God. I actually started when I was about 13 years old in my first quartet, and at age 15, I formed the Songfellows. In my group, I had Elvis Presley, Jimmy Hamill, Bobby Ball, Kemp Higginbotham, Eddie Reese, and we had a great time as teenagers singing for the Lord in churches throughout the South. And then, of course, going with the Blackwood Brothers when I was 19. I've got a lot of videos I can send to you if you'll write to me. Just write Cecil Blackwood, Blackwood Brothers Quartet, Post Office Box 750186, 750186, Memphis, Tennessee, Memphis, Tennessee, 38175, 38175. My telephone number is 901-755-0610. Now, let me say this, we do have a 900 number, 1-900-4-GOSPEL. You can always leave a message on that number, 1-900-4-GOSPEL. I've got tapes starting in 1951, the Blackwood Brothers before the plane crash, with R.W. Blackwood, Sr., James Blackwood, Bill Lyles, Dan Hooke, and Jackie Marshall. Then I've got uh, 1958, uh, J.D. Sumner, Cecil Blackwood, James Blackwood, Bill Shaw, and Wally Varner. 1960 with the same group. I've got uh, tapes from the 1980s, the, of course, present day tapes. I can even get you the Bill Gaither tapes. Tapes are made to sell for $29.95, $29.95. I will send these to you postpaid, any tape you want. I've got a hundred different tapes you can order. So write to me. 
I've got cassettes, I've got the Blackwood Brothers in the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, the 60s, all down through the years. So I need to hear from you, write to me or call me. The videotapes uh, that, are, that are our tapes that we put out, you can have them for only $20 a piece or three for 50, of course six for $100 donation. God bless you and uh, I know these tapes will be a blessing to you. So I'm going to watch for a letter or a phone call. Thank you very much. Well, I, I've just been informed that we have another two minutes before the program starts. So a big reminder, this is J.D. Sumner, the world's lowest bass on the bass. It's, uh, of course, me, Cecil Blackwood, the baritone, James Blackwood, uh, Bill Shaw, Wally Varner to piano. Now, we're talking about 1960. This was made at WHBQ television station, station, and so I think it'll have a lot of fun seeing how young we were. I was in my mid-20s, J.D. was in his mid-30s, James was about 40, and so we're talking about how many years ago? <laughs> 33 years ago, let's see, 60, 70, 80, 93 years, that's 93, so we're talking about 33 years ago. Now, I've got a lot of things I can send to you. If you'll write me, I'll send you a catalog. Just write Cecil Blackwood, Blackwood Brothers, Memphis, Tennessee. Now, use my box number, post office box 750186, 750186, Memphis, Tennessee, 38, let's see, that's 38175, 38175. I've got the History of Gospel Music. It's uh, cassettes, the first three or 400 songs that the Blackwood Brothers did in the 40s and the 50s. They'll thrill you, starting with Roy Doyle, James R. W. Hilton Griswold, and ending up with uh, Wally Varner on the piano, J.D. Sumner, me, uh, Cecil Blackwood, James Blackwood, and Bill Shaw. There's eight of those tapes, and they're an hour and a half per tape. You can have one tape for 10 of the whole set for a $50 donation. I've got a lot of videos from uh, 1951, 1958, uh, before the airplane crash, after the airplane crash, and I'll be glad to send these to you. Write to me, and I'll send you more information, okay? Now we'll watch the program. Kola Lamp. If you were raised in the country, perhaps it too will recall some pleasant memories to you as we sing now our most requested song, The Old Country Church. <laughs> Oh, 
I want to live the best life that I can for my Lord, but I do this because I love him and want to serve him. I feel that the best I can do is not good enough to get myself to heaven. If it was, Jesus need not have died. But I know the reason I'll be there one day, as this song says, is because of him. to do a spiritual for you. This was written by our bass, J.D. Sumner. He writes many of our songs. This one uh, rather lively in tempo, and we hope you'll enjoy it. It's entitled Crossing Chile Jordan. song is a beautiful prayer. I love to sing songs of this type. You know, I often wonder what people do who do not know Christ as their Savior when there comes a time in their life when no one can help them. And that time will come to each of us. But then it's the privilege of the Christian to go to God in prayer, there to find the strength, the comfort, and the solace that we need in times of grief, sorrow, and distress. I want you to listen real reverently now as we sing for you, Dear Jesus, Abide With Me.
I feel that many times our prayers are selfish. We ask for things we don't need. And I think a lot of people have the idea that when they pray, they're just supposed to ask for something. But the thought of this next song is, Lord, I'm coming to you now not asking for anything. I just want to take a time to tell you how thankful I am for your many blessings. The title is, I'm Thankful. Some time ago, we recorded an album for RCA Victor and used Hawaiian background music. Some of the songs we tried to do as we thought the Hawaiian people themselves would sing them. This next song is one of those. In the Hawaiian language, the word aloha has several meanings, but principally it's a greeting and also a farewell. The thought of this song is when it's time to leave this world, our aloha time here, 
It's also aloha time in heaven, or hello up there. Aloha time. song is a little bit unusual. It was written because of a story we heard about a little old man who has spent all of his life testifying to the Mexican people along the border of Southern California, giving to them New Testaments in Spanish and telling them about the Lord. The story impressed Bill Shaw, our tenor, so much that he wrote a song about it. And uh, these people call this little old man Pablo. That's what Bill has called his song. And here's the story in song, Pablo. Not long ago in Mexico I met a man named little Pablo Pablo, a servant of the Lord In this world below of sin and woe His pain is as much I know But one day he'll receive his reward A servant of the Lord. Every night and day you can hear him pray for those who haven't found the way. And I believe one day he'll receive a wonderful reward. Last night I dreamed that I was in heaven and to me the key to the city. Like a child I'm in a bath And streets of gold There were sights Like I had never seen For my eyes to behold And then Came in view This mansion so
Here's one of our Hawaiian-style gospel songs. This tells about a land, heaven. We describe it in this song as eternal paradise. a song that we call our memory song, Memories of Our Childhood Days. Each member of the quartet will sing a verse recalling pleasant memories of their childhood, and then we all join together to sing a chorus of an old familiar hymn. Altogether, it recalls the scenes and memories of our mother, dad, and around home. And then finally, when Bill Shaw sings the last verse, and we sing then together a chorus of a song so old that most young people think it's new. They never heard it. But I remember hearing my grandpa sing this song many, many years ago. It's called The Lifeboat. We put it all together and hope you'll enjoy it. We call it Childhood Memories. Oh, I remember at our home we'd have our time for prayer. We'd sing the song of life and Jesus would be there. Oh, how I'd like just once again to hear my mother sing Much I would give to hear enough singing to the king Close to thee, close to thee, close to thee, close to thee Gladly time that I recall was at my mother's knee. She bowed her head and then she'd say the sweetest prayer for me. God bless my boy that he may walk the straight and narrow way and keep him safe from all harm and take him home someday. If I could hear my mother pray again, if I could hear her tender voice and stem, so happy I would be, would mean so much. 
much to me if I could hear my mother pray again. I'm as woven many memories that I hold so dear. Oh, how I try to be like that is for I almost here. Now, son, you find your mother because she loves you so. And when you grow to manhood, God's teachings you will know.